In ancient days, noble knights roamed the land, doing good deeds and acts of service for their king. Many of those brave squires served the greatest lord of all, the King of Kings. Travel with us now as we ride with these mighty men of God on their quest for kingdom adventures. I hear you, Rufus. I'm coming. I'm coming, Rufus. Just a moment. To... Oh, oh, hello. I didn't know you were all here. Allow me to introduce myself. No, I'm not Santa Claus. <laughs> My name is Theophilus, and I am the keeper of these gardens and the servant of my lord, the king. And I see you've met my dog, Rufus. <laughs> he's actually a dragon. I raised him myself from an egg, but he thinks he's a dog. <laughs> what is it, Rufus? Oh, you've got a message from the king? Well, bring it forth. Oh, now, Rufus, you know I can't understand you when you bark that quickly. Now, take your time. <sighs> Sounds like, yes. Sounds like what? Oh, sounds like a paper airplane. Sounds like a glider. Oh, sounds like a glider. A uh, spider. Slider. Prize fighter. Rider. Oh, it's Ryder. Oh, a rider is coming. Oh, good. Yes, a, a rider is coming. Well, uh, is he approaching soon? What should we do? What's the next word? Tell me the next word. Okay, what is it? Yeah. What are you doing? Oh, candy cane? Is it sweet? Oh, sounds like sweet. Uh, treat? Oh, a rider is coming. Treat, treat him how? Treat him badly. No, no, treat him respectfully. Treat him to a smoothie. No, no. Oh. What are you doing? Are you bowing your head? What are you, oh, you're, you're praying. Oh, are you saying grace? Oh, he's saying, oh, a rider is approaching. Treat him with grace. Oh, oh, a rider is coming into town. How does the king know these things? You are right, Rufus. He is the king. He knows everything. Well, thank you so much for delivering that message. I've got a little treat for you as well. Here's a bone. There you are. Don't eat it all at once. Oh, my, that Rufus. Be careful, Rufus. Here, I'll take your things back. Well, a rider is approaching. We don't get many riders in the kingdom. I'm excited to find out who this lad is. Yes, it should be uh, quite interesting to have passers by. I love when people visit and I can show them my gardens and teach them about the things of God. Yes, well, I wonder how... Hark! The rider approaches! <laughs> Ah, hello there, you old man. Can you tell me where I am? No, oh, my name is Theophilus, thank you. And you are in the palace of my lord, the king. At last, I finally made it. I am ready to be the king's noble knight. I'm ready to sacrifice my life for my king. Yes, well, you're going to have to practice a lot more if you're going to be a knight. <laughs> Besides, we have many, many uh, guards in this castle already. Are you sure you're in the right kingdom? Oh, yes, I am. I'm Squire Goopus the Gallant. Oh, but you may call me Gus, and I'm ready to become a knight. Oh, <laughs> you're going to spend a night in the hospital if you keep swinging that sword around. <laughs> Well, leave your card. We'll get back to you. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. You don't understand. I cannot come back. Why, well, I've left everything that I've ever known. My home, my job, my mommy, my daddy. Why, well, I've left it all behind. I wish you left that sword behind. Well, Sir Squire Goofus. Wait, wait, wait. No, no. You may call me Gus. And one day, I hope to be called Sir Gus. <laughs> I want to be a warrior, but all my parents ever want me to do is go to church. <laughs> well, I might be able to help you. <gasps> you can? 
Mm. You will? Oh, I thank you, thank you, coin sir. Well, I know a knight he is quite a good friend of mine, and he happens to be the king of the castle guards, and perhaps I could persuade him to teach you the things of knighthood and teach you how to use that sword <gasps> properly. Oh, you do that for me? Oh, thank you, thank you, kind sir. I said I might be able to help you, but first you must do something else. Oh, name it. Anything. I will do anything. You must return here every week to learn more instruction. Oh, I shall. What kind of instruction? Why, the noblest instruction, the noblest quest that a knight can ever seek. You must study the word of our Lord. What? More churchy stuff? That's the reason why I ran away from home, to get away from all that churchy stuff. Well, you want to be noble, don't you? Oh, more than anything. Well, then reach in that window and bring the manual forthwith to me. Oh, I shall do as you say <sighs> right now. <laughs> Full of music. Yes, full of music and beauty and wisdom. <laughs> now, in this report, Jesus is a young man. <laughs> like me. He was even younger than you are. Jesus was only 12 years old when his family went to the Passover feast in Jerusalem. And afterwards, his parents left for home, but Jesus stayed behind. <gasps> Oh, where is he? I oh. shall not stop seeking until I find my Lord. Well, you know, that's how his parents felt as well. <laughs> they searched everywhere and even went back to Jerusalem to look for him. The Bible says after three days, they found him in the temple courts, sitting amongst the teachers, listening to them and asking them questions. And everyone who heard him was amazed at his understanding and his answers. <sighs> But why? Why are his mommy and daddy upset at him for Jesus taking off and not telling them? Oh, yes, very. But Jesus said, didn't you know I had to be in my father's house? Ah, <laughs> so his father lived in the temple? No, he was talking about God. Oh, right, as I see, his heavenly father. Exactly. As the son of God, Jesus knew he had to stay close to God and obey his word in order to grow to be the man of God that God wanted him to be. The Bible says, and Jesus grew in wisdom and stature and favor with God and man. And I too wish to grow in wisdom and stature and favor with God and men. And that is why you must return here every week so you can learn more about God and to be more like him. I shall, I shall, good Theophilus. And you kids, you should come back as well so we may all continue to grow and be more like him. Until next time, serving the king is the noblest thing. <laughs> well, I like that. Can I try saying it? Sure, knock yourself out. Okay. Oh, no, wait, I didn't mean literally. I meant say the phrase. Oh, right. <laughs> right. Serving the king is the noblest thing. Excellent. Come back next week, children, and learn more about the word of our Lord. Tell you how. Come, Penelope. Right.